Consider the bar raised. Holy crap. Outstanding. Come back after the intro. Hey guys, Working Man Reads here, and today I am back with another book review, or be it that, a short story collection review. And wow, if the intro didn't tell you everything, I loved it. And uh, the quick review of the book is please go support this author. He is outstanding and deserves some recognition for this collection. It is wonderful. Um, I also need to find somebody to probably send this to so that they can read it for themselves because it should be read. It should definitely be read. This is, this gives me, if this isn't proof that there is outstanding authors that you may not have heard of, I don't know what is. Just Israel Finn. Thank you for sending me this for review. I appreciate it. And this was brilliant. Uh, so plot and premise, every story is well hashed out. I'm trying to keep my cool and be professional here, but I really enjoyed reading this <laughs> collection. And sometimes reading can be super fun and every story was fun. I obviously enjoyed certain stories more than others. I feel that if you read it for yourself, you might even like different stories than I liked. And there's, it's, that's the beauty in horror story collections is that there's a different story for everyone, you know, uh, and, and that's so super cool. So yeah, the premises are all well thought out. The scenery was written well, the characters were written well, you, you felt them, you felt for them, you, you wanted some to win, you wanted some to lose, you, you dove into the psyche of different characters and the true scary parts of of the world that we live in and i thought that that was beautiful that's actually the stories that i appreciated the most which i were let's see uh deadfall lane and then uh, to catch a fly i think were my two favorite but there's countless stories in here uh let's just go to the uh the thing here so yeah you got you got a bunch i'm gonna keep this completely spoiler free because i it's hard to review sh short story collections because you can easily spoil stories. I actually just, I'm having to refilm this because I was trying to give a quick synopsis of my two favorite stories and, and I felt that I gave away too much. And so horror, I give it four stars, close to five. If just some of the stories didn't hit for me personally, but others were awesome, like I said. So you know, different ones, there was different, like, classical feeling horror stories, like, I feel Deadfall Lane is more that, like, psychological, deep, uh, like, darker horror that, like, is a little bit throwback, and I, I just freaking ate that up, and then To Catch a Fly was super cool, because you were in, like, the mind of, well, you literally start off the story, I'll just read the first line of the story here, because it's just the, if this isn't the best way to start a short story or a story in general, I don't know what is. So, have you ever thought about killing somebody? And I don't mean when you are a little steamed and, and say, I could kill him or her or whatever. What I'm asking here is if you've ever considered crossing that line for real. So, I mean, it's just, I'm like, what? That, if that doesn't pull you in, you don't like horror. Uh, characters, he did great, he did amazing, like I said. Was it fun? Yes, every every story was fun in some way, shape, or form. I'd say probably my third favorite story was Sick Day, where, like, this, this dude, he, he's got, like, kind of this shitty job, and his ex-wife's uh, wife, um, father, his ex-father-in-law, is his boss, and so he calls in sick and I was like, and, and it just, yeah, it, it becomes a horror story from there. And then I'd say Deadfall Lane really hit me the hardest. It was dark and deep. You, you basically are dropped into this gentleman who his life just kind of is, is, is beginning to go off the rails a little bit. His, his wife is seeing somebody else and is going to leave 
and that's it. So I'm going to leave it there. But I did, uh, I also liked to catch a fly. Like I said, you get dropped into a man who is sitting in his jail cell or his prison cell, and he is kind of writing his biography or an autobiography, I should say. So I might be wrong there. No, I'm right. Um, maybe. I don't know. Somebody will tell me I'm wrong. So yeah, so it's super, super fun. I did want to, at the end of this, read a couple passages. So if you do want to leave, I respect it. I just really love certain parts of this. So this is from To Catch a Fly. And then the ending um, will be for people who have read this story collection. I don't want to. So if you're clicking away, thank you for stopping by. It's been working, man. Reads. You are appreciated. So let's see. I know I, I know I underlined some stuff. I know that's frowned upon, but it was amazing. So this is from To Catch a Fly. Just This is the writing, okay? You ready? Why do we lose that curiosity, that feeling of wonder, when we grow up? Is it because we're too busy running on that wheel? When we're at work, we watch the clock, waiting for the mind-numbing dullness to end, so we can escape our chains for a spell. We plan our days, our weeks, even our years in advance, trying to outwit time. But it's funny because we end up spending most of that time wishing it away. Just killer. And so this one's from Deadfall Lane. And this is kind of at the end uh, of the book. So I, I, I definitely, if you have not read this collection, please leave. I don't want to spoil anything. This is mostly if this the author actually watches this, which thank you. But this was one of the greatest paragraphs I've read in indie slash small press horror. So it doesn't give a lot away. So if you're still watching, yeah. The tree now leans crazily toward the western horizon, while its unnatural shadow points directly at me. Its roots are pulling themselves up from the earth, on this side, leaving a ragged hole. I try not to think about what sort of awfulness will be born there. The leaves, those that aren't brushing the ground, are shriveling and dropping to the edge, or to the earth. Like dead brown birds, because the thing that used to be my wife is drawing this life from them, draining them dry, the way a vampire drains blood from its host. And when it's done, the tree will fall at last. What? That is amazing. So good. So, wow. Bar raised. I am excited to read whatever he puts out in the future support this author. Thank you guys for watching. If you watched this long, hopefully you didn't if you haven't read this book, but man, awesome. So thank you guys so much for dropping by. This has been Working Man Reads. If you're not getting through enough books, you're probably working too much. Peace.